My mother will not let me go anywhere during the pandemic. Not to the grocery store, not out in nature, not even outside of our neighborhood. She takes shelter in place very seriously. In fact, she's so well prepared for quarantine that I swear she's had a practice run. Huh. Quarantine. I think of it as the moment in which time froze and visiting my mother's house is where I happen to be when time stopped. So, here I am. In her house, living under her rules. Almost 30 and time warped back to middle school. Covering my midriff, sitting through lectures on how not to catch a cold, calling my friends after everyone goes to sleep, and sneaking bottles of wine into my room at night. Oh, and sex. LOL. I'm a born again virgin. My mother lives in northern San Diego. Think gated community, Stepford wifey, rows and rows of blonde-haired, blue-eyed parents and their children, super entitled yet passive-aggressive, which is a particularly annoying combination. They park their cars in front of our house. They do a double-take when my mom wears a mask at the grocery store. They don't know how to deal with us, and we don't know how to deal with them, so we avoid each other. But today was unavoidable. Because today, our next door neighbors threw a loud ass party filled with children. They said it was their kid's birthday. Excuse me? I have a 10 year old sister who turned 11 during COVID and you know how we spent her birthday? Alone in the house singing happy birthday with a shitty DIY cake because there is a pandemic happening. Oh yeah. It's strange because as different as we are from our neighbors, this neighborhood is my mom's American dream. My parents worked their butt off to one day have this life. Oceans away from family, nothing in common with those closest to us, a drop of yellow and a sea of white. Was this their dream? But we do have a WeChat. WeChat is like TikTok plus Insta plus Facebook for Chinese aunties. It managed to sift through all of the recipe sharing, peacock videos, and conspiracy theories, aka the three pillars of Chinese auntiehood. There is a thread with concerns about COVID violence against us immigrants. One uncle said we should create a group of Chinese people who have each other's backs. Others said if we self-isolate, they'll just give people more reason to suspect us. So the group is torn. Meanwhile, the party next door is raging. I peek through the window and I see grandparents milling about, children running around half naked, housewives sunbathing in their lawn chairs, the cool dads attempting an ollie on their skateboards. No social distancing, no masks, no heads up. Rude. Now I know why my mom is so good at quarantining. Social distancing is a mandatory part of her American dream. Long before the pandemic, there was a language, a history, and a country between us and our neighbors. People who have never had their safety in question never think it's in jeopardy. They're obsessed with freedom because the world is already theirs, and any small piece taken away feels like a small death. But they won't fight for the lives of essential workers, or Black communities disproportionately dying from the virus, or people whose lives are the collateral damage needed to gain that freedom. The mild ones will keep throwing birthday parties. The wild ones will protest with signs that say, I need a haircut. And the violent ones will storm government buildings, masked and armed. But in the end, they're all the same. Now there are, there are a dozen white kids next door chasing each other and throwing cake. While my sister sits at home reading her comic book for the fifth time. I try to avoid them, but they keep showing up, so... All we can say is, please, stay at home. But mostly, please, keep your American dreams far away from us and much more than six feet.